All right, guys, what's up? What's going on? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Captain Cody Davis here with you guys yet again for another one. Uh, actually just came in the house from out in the shop, had to get a bunch of rods and reels re-spooled and re-rigged for the upcoming trips we've got going on this week. And thought it'd be a good time to sit and talk to you guys for a minute about a product that I am a huge fan of, but a product that I feel like doesn't get talked about anymore. And it's kind of been swept under the rug or thrown to the wayside here. Um, in you know regards to the fishing world or fishing industry over the last few years and what we're going to be talking about in this video is going to be some good old-fashioned monofilament fishing line but more specifically we're going to be talking about my favorite monofilament line and what i feel is the best monofilament ever made we're going to be talking about trialing big game okay hopefully you guys can see that the glare is not too bad now i'm assuming pretty much all of you watching this I've heard of this stuff. I'd be very surprised if you haven't, because this stuff has been on the market since God was a boy. Uh, this stuff has withstood the test of time and for great reason. Um, and I think the two biggest reasons is one, the overall strength of this line. You, I challenge you, but I don't challenge you because you're not going to do it. You will not find a fishing line, both in the category of fluorocarbon or monofilament that is stronger than this stuff. It is, it's, it's shocking how strong this line is. On top of that, um, how cost efficient this is. With the you know with the mad craze of fluorocarbon anymore, um, you know, and not to say there's not some great ones out there because there is, and I use them. But to go buy a spool or two or three of fluorocarbon, you have to go up to the bank and take out a loan anymore. It seems like. Whereas this 650 yard spool of 20 pound is going to run you between eight and eleven dollars, depending on where you buy it. All right. Um, Super cost efficient. It's strong. It's smooth. It's cast great. And it's sensitive. Uh, I get a lot of customers on the boat that give fluorocarbon a try. They ask me what brand of fluorocarbon I use. What, you know, what should I look for in a fluorocarbon? Because they struggle with it um, because it's not super forgiving. Um, it has very bad memory a lot of times. There's a bunch of different reasons why people don't like fluorocarbon or aren't fans of it. And I always refer back to them and say, well, why don't you just, for that, if you're going to be dragging a worm over the top of grass, why don't you just use trilene big game? And they almost stare at me like they're not sure if I'm joking because I feel like monofilament is so yesterday in the fishing world, but it's not. I mean, it's it, monofilament has come so far, but, um, you know, this stuff, like I said, I don't think they've changed this stuff in years, but this will do everything your high dollar fluorocarbon will do now the one thing it won't do is be as low visible you know as, as as invisible in the water but again i fish lake okeechobee i'm fishing in the thick grass here in florida in the tannic water i feel like sometimes that side of fluorocarbon as far as it being invisible or less visible in the water is kind of overrated in our neck of the woods now maybe in the clear water lakes up north and things absolutely that's where it earns its keep but down here, we're fishing 65-pound braid to a hook and getting bit. Um, I feel like this 20-pound monofilament is going to blend in just fine. I do throw the green color. They do make it in a clear. But again, with our tannic water down here, I do use uh, the green. Again, it's it's not a super thick diameter for 20-pound. It's going to match up to your 20-pound diameter on any of your high-dollar fluorocarbons. Um, it may not be quite as sensitive as a fluorocarbon, obviously, that's where another part part where fluorocarbon earns its its you know its value, its worth. But it's sensitive enough. If you throw a, a speed worm out there and letting it free fall, you can feel a tick on this stuff. And a lot of times, I feel like the reason people shy away from monofilament is because of the amount of stretch in the line. I'm telling you, this stuff does not have that much stretch. The biggest thing fluorocarbon one of their biggest sales pitches is it has zero stretch. That's not true. When it comes down to it, braided line even has a percentage of stretch to it. It's not much, but there is a little bit there. And fluorocarbon does have stretch. It's not as much as this mono, but there is some stretch to it. So um, I usually tell people sometimes you might want to go up a power on what rod you're using. If you're using a single hook technique, like swimming a worm or flipping, uh, just to make up and counteract the stretch. But it's really, really not that bad. Um, you know, there's, you talk to any of the old school hammers down here, this is what they're using for a lot of applications. What's even crazy is um, a lot of 
you might be familiar with the FLW pro now fishes the opens pro Mike Sermon, uh, who has made a big name for himself all over the country, but you know, cut his teeth down here in the thick stuff flipping down here in South Florida. And where we're all flipping 65 pound braid and mats, he flips 25 pound trialing big game to this day on his ounce and a half weight and out flips and out catches most everybody on the lake. So this stuff is super strong. Like I said, you will not break it. Um, it, it definitely stronger than any of the fluorocarbons on the market. Um, maybe not as sensitive, maybe a little more visible in the water, but it's a way more cost efficient and uh, it's as sensitive as it needs to be. Don't let the stretch scare you. It's not as bad as people make it out to be. And uh, yeah, you're going to get a lot of bites and uh, have it, you know, it's going to be real comfortable and easy flow and easy casting on your reel. So give this a shot. I use it for leader material when I'm using live bait on Lake Okeechobee. I throw it a lot on our lipless or rattle traps and things because we're fishing a treble hook anyway. Um, you don't really need to feel the bite. But another reason people don't talk about is monofilament floats, whereas fluorocarbon sinks. So when you're reeling a lipless half or three quarter ounce rattle trap out here on Lake Okeechobee in shallow, you know, two to five feet of water, this helps float the bait just a little bit so you're not picking up that gunk off the bottom or getting hung up in cattails and things like that. Uh, a lot of people don't think about it, but uh, works great. And like I said, you will not break it. I want to just put this out there. I am in no way, shape or form affiliated, getting paid by anything with Trilene, Berkeley, pure fishing in general. Just uh, wanted to give you guys this little tip to help you save some money and uh, I don't know, try something else that maybe you're forgotten about. So Trilene Big Game, 17, 20 pound test is usually what I use, mainly 20. And it'll do most of the stuff that your high dollar fluorocarbons will down here in South Florida. So just wanted to throw that out there. Appreciate you guys watching and I will see you guys on the next one.